Hey guys, so today's video is about Gabby Hanna. Um, there are a few updates with her like officially coming back to the internet now to be like the Gabby show again. Hey, here's Phoebe. Uh, before we do that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because YouTube has been on subscribing people and deleting accounts. So please scroll down to see if you're still subscribed. If you're not, do that. But also there's this new thing where apparently instead of watch time now, YouTube wants like customer satisfaction. So if you guys like the video then do like and do leave a comment about anything to do with the video because it helps to push it out allegedly according to youtube everything else will be in the description including my new podcast so you can go check that out if you guys just want like an hour of me and my co-host then you can obviously go listen to my podcast but let's talk about gabby hannah very quickly she just disappeared off the internet as you guys know because of her series that she did that kind of didn't pan out the way she wanted it to she stopped kind of mid-series she didn't really finish it because it caused more drama in her life than was kind of necessary and then you know after claiming that she doesn't like drama she basically caused more drama in her life because then people had to come in and defend themselves which they did including joey graceffa daniel prada for escape the night jesse smiles you know her friends um just people were coming out and being like no this is wrong stop so she disappeared off the internet she stopped posting she deleted a bunch of her videos like essentially 99 percent of her videography is gone there's like no videos on her channel um except for all the new ones that she's posting now and i'm seeing a bit of a cycle that i'm gonna get into in a minute for you guys so don't worry i'll get there but she essentially just continued to do tiktok instead of youtube where she would still get into some controversies people were still kind of like turned against her but then like her music stuff would do okay and some of her tiktoks went big so like it was quite helpful for her and obviously because she had kind of grown on vine she then went to musically where musically was a thing and if you started musically when it got transferred into tiktok your follower count stayed the same so it was very easy for her to like keep on getting views on tiktok because she already had a following due to musically if that makes sense so it was just like an easy platform for her to not get as much hate as on youtube but still like make money and post on social media so as much as she said that she hates drama and drama channels she decided to go on a drama podcast the bff's podcast with dave portnoy josh richards and brie which is a drama podcast they literally only discuss drama and like but it's not youtube drama it's tiktok drama so maybe gabby almost feels like a distance from it like she's like that's not relating to me they don't talk about me they talk about tiktok it's not the same it's almost like she doesn't actually mind drama or drama channels she just hates when drama channels talk about her negatively which makes sense, but it's like, at least specify which drama channels you don't like and which ones you do like, because it's, you know. So even Dave Portnoy was confused. He was like, well, this is a drama pod, like, why are you not talking about drama? Because she came in and she was like, I don't talk about myself. I don't want to talk about the drama. And he was like, you're in the wrong place, actually. He was just very confused. And he said out loud, he was like, I'm just very confused about you right now. Like, I just don't really know what to make of you. She posted this TikTok basically being like, I'm back on YouTube, like I'm posting videos again. And it was this video called like, I'm back, the Gabby show, yada, yada, yada. When you click on it, it's just a compilation of TikToks that we have already seen, which brings me into the cyclic, cyclic, cyclic situation going on here. I don't know if you guys remember when Vine finished, finished when it like went bust, bankrupt. They had to shut down Vine like randomly. All the Vine is quickly transitioned to youtube and what did a lot of them do they posted their tiktok compilations on youtube so a lot of gabby hannah's first videos on youtube that's actually when i found her were just compilations of her vines and then when those gained traction people subscribed they were like oh my god it's gabby she would then post like actual videos but that's essentially how she grew on youtube was just through posting her vine compilations because they were big people were just looking for them so she's now posting tiktok compilations is this just like the re reinvention of the gabby show like in its true core and if it is then that is a really positive change like i just want to make that very clear i'm not hating on gabby hannah for coming back i think she has every right to be on the platform and this feels almost positive this feels like she's going in the right direction like she has a chapter has closed just like when vine's chapter closed she posted some compilations and then she said goodbye to vine and she's just restarted like a, a different person and now it's almost like this era of gabby hannah is closing and then she's just posting some tiktok compilations and then she's gonna go back to maybe just like cleaning her apartment or some stories like you know just something that is less problematic than everything that's been going on so far and actually she got a pretty good response for coming back in this way and she was shocked herself on instagram just being like oh my god thank you guys like everyone saying that they missed me and like i just posted a youtube video and i can't believe the people in the comments already I miss you too we need more gabby content we miss you i miss you too welcome back thanks for waiting oh my god happy to see you back been watching you from the beginning it's so crazy to see how much you've evolved i've missed all of you yes make content again we are all here for it and i am here for you i feel like right now 
the people that are actually clicking on her videos are not just like random people that like people are not hate watching her stuff anymore i feel like it's literally just her fans that's why her views are pretty low because it's just like the core audience that is still sticking around is watching her stuff so obviously they're going to be very nice to her it might be a step in the right direction if she's doing something like this that isn't causing drama or being problematic and she's getting a good reaction for it then maybe she'll just continue doing that instead of falling back to old patterns of just causing drama she also said that she misses posting like this which maybe like she has actually stopped being dramatic i don't know if i'm just being oddly positive today because maybe i'm just having a good day i don't know but i'm hoping that maybe she has realized that like the drama life is actually not for her or maybe she's just not releasing a project right now so she doesn't need the drama and when she does need the drama for a project she will do that i don't know she also posted like this long letter um to her fans essentially just like telling them where she's been what she's been doing what drugs she's been taking you know how her life's been going and where she plans to go from now which it, you know it's nice that she's like clarifying everything for people i'm not a fan of gabby hannah and i don't think i ever will be i think she has done so many awful things to so many people um it's like an, i don't even care what she's done to me or what she said about me that really just doesn't phase me i'm like whatever like of course um but it's just everything else that she has done is obviously not right so i'm not like excited for her to come back but also not not like i i'm very neutral about this right now it's not content for me um and she's not going to be making content for me but maybe there will be a positive change where she won't be bringing negativity into the platform and she'll just be gabby hannah maybe this is like the fresh start that she needed to fix her mistakes to gather herself and to like just come back as like the gabby show and not gabby hannah because i feel like back in the day she thought the gabby show had like a bad connotation to it and she wanted to run away from that now i feel like gabby hannah has a bad ring to it and the gabby show is something that's like almost a positive and nostalgic thought for people and like a nostalgic memory when i think of the gabby show i think of like non-problematic just some story times cleaning my apartment you know yada yada when i think of gabby hannah i think of like drama like i think of negativity so actually i have positive connotations with the gabby show rather than gabby hannah and i feel like for gabby it was the opposite it was flipped for a really long time and i'm hoping that maybe she just comes back to the gabby show and like treats it with respect and people are really enjoying that she's not acting like this exaggerated version of herself like trying to do crazy things for views that she's just acting like herself like she did back in the day and it's really like refreshing to see but she also recently got into some drama it's not really drama but she had this um show and it didn't really go too well um here's tiktok i'll obviously mute the sound because i'll probably get copyrighted but there's just like this one man clapping in the front and then just like some people just standing there very confused maybe she's just opening for a different act and that's why the reaction is a bit lukewarm but yeah i guess the crowd just didn't pass the vibe check like, there's just one person just like bopping along to the song but the rest of the people were just very confused maybe it was just like a weird venue weird audience like the audience maybe was into different music then like you know sometimes like the opening act just doesn't really match the vibe of like the rest of the show and the people are like what is going on what is going on so anyway that's all that's really happening with gabby hannah i feel like she's truly just bringing it back to her roots of like the gabby show and like i said it's so interesting how like when vine finished she's like posting vine compilations and just went straight into like a huge career and now like she's closing this chapter of her life hopefully and she's just posting tiktok compilations maybe she's gonna unlock this like new era of her career and maybe like it'll be and I'm assuming it's going to be less YouTube focused and more music focused because that's really what she wants to do, allegedly. But maybe it'll just open like this new era of her career for her. I don't know. I'm just feeling almost positive. I'm feeling the positive vibes. Obviously, like I said, like I don't want this to sound like I'm like a fan now. Like I'm like going to watch Gabby Hanna videos. I don't think I ever will. And I don't think I'll ever listen to her music just purely because of the connotations in my mind about Gabby. And like... I don't really care that she has wronged me, but also like I don't really want to support someone that's wronged me. So it's like she's wronged other people, which bothers me because she's wronged them in really bad ways. Mainly people like Jesse Smiles. It just was unnecessary. Um, but then she also wronged me, and it's always just like a weird like, you know, it's just like a weird like I don't really want to deal with this right now. But like I'm happy to see that because I feel like it was bringing everyone down to have a Gabby Hanna eruption every six months because it felt like a gabby had an eruption every six months where she would start dragging everyone on the internet and like it was it was stressful for everyone i don't think it was like a fun vibe for anyone like yeah we you know we responded and yet but it was not a good vibe for anyone and i feel like if we can get or get out of that like gabby had an eruption every six months i think it'll be a good vibe for everyone and maybe at some point we can all be cordial neutral civil you know i'm not expecting friendships just civil subscribe to the bell like comment for engagement and i'll see you in my next one bye guys